Klitschko here with Doug Mockett of Doug Mockett and Company. We're in California at one of their injection molding facilities. Doug, tell me about these grommets. Well, we get all of our plastic injection molded grommets made here, most of them. And of the round ones, we have 10 different sizes, 14 different colors. We have other uh, shapes as well. We do the trash management grommet here, which you see in the recycled colors. We do the LO. This is in metallic silver, as is this ZG. We also do the housing for the um, PCS3 here, the large, a large piece, and the electrical components are put in at another facility. But all the injection molding, it's all done here in Los Angeles, and it's a pretty interesting uh, process, which I want to show you next. Excellent. Let's go see some more. What are we looking at here, Doug? Well, we're looking at a mold. This is a mold that makes injection molded parts. It's two halves. They come together like that. The plastic is injected in. It's cooled. Then it separates and the parts fall down. This particular one is an LO. And as you can see, it makes the liner, which flops out like that eventually, and the cap, which flops out like that. And that's all there is to it. It's a very simple process. Wow, very cool. So Doug, we're standing in front of this big machine with all this raw material. Tell me what's happening. Denise, this is where the magic takes place. Awesome. This is where raw material is turned into parts. It starts out like this, which is high impact styrene in white color. It's all white. You see the black granules? Yes, that gives I do. it the color. And comes out a few minutes later in an EDP grommet. Here we have it right here. The machine in back of us is a big machine which has 310 tons of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. And what happens is the raw material comes out of this bin over on your left side, gets sucked up into the hopper, and then comes down into this heated screw which takes the material and screws it forward and jams it into the mold, which is closed at, as I said, 310 tons of pressure. The mold comes together with a liquid plastic. It is then cooled over about 20 seconds. The mold opens and the parts drop down to a conveyor belt. It then brings the parts up here and these ladies assemble them and throw the uh, you can see up in that uh, bin, the runners, what are called runners. These are runners that attach all the parts in the mold. And the runners have come apart, they're thrown away. And then, being green, all the runners are reground into new material that we can use again. So it's quite environmentally friendly. This mold has 24 cavities. So it makes 24 eight liners, eight caps, and eight uh, tabs all at one time. Wow. It's very efficient, and uh, but that's it. Wonderful. Plastic comes in one end, magic falls out the other. Excellent, <laughs> you can't beat it, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, Denise, now that the mold is open, you can get a good idea of the cavities. You can see on the left, the, uh, the uh, one half of the mold, and on the right side, the other half of the mold. And as I say, these come together at enormous pressure and uh, create the parts. Uh, it's open just so we can see it, and it'll be going back to production again shortly. And um, I hope we can get a shot of it opening and ejecting the parts. It's, it's, it's pretty exciting.